Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Koko Osaze and I'm glad that you're watching me right now. If you're a first timer here, you're welcome to my channel. Here we get to talk about life, we get to talk about relationship and everything, everything else you can think about. And if you are not yet subscribed and this is not your first time, what are you waiting for? Click that subscription button, like the video, and always share the video. You know you just might be blessing someone's life. So for today, I want to shake some tables. Yes, that's what I came here to do. And we're diving into some new grounds. The question I want to be dealing with today is something I've been trending for some weeks now on Twitter. And I feel I should just touch it a little bit. So the question is, are your work friends really your friends? The people you work with, the people you spend most of your time with from Monday to Friday for some persons, for some Mondays to Saturdays, and for some other persons, even Mondays to Sundays, back to back. And these are people sometimes you get to share your lunch with, there are people you get to tell your secrets, there are people that get to know you, they, some of them they see you when you cry, they know when you laugh, they know when you get those secret calls, they know, when, they know virtually everything about you and you get to spend some time with them but are they truly your real friends are they people that you can say oh this one got my back this is really my friend well i would say it's a yes and no in the sense that please don't come for me now just hold on and wait now in the sense that from being colleagues i've seen people metamorphose to becoming like brothers you know when they say a bread a, a, a brother that sticks a friend that sticks closer than a brother i've seen friends from office space move into family space and then they become really close friends but i think 90 percent of the time or maybe i'm dashing it too high 80 percent of the time it's not so because most times when you're working in, a, in an office everybody is striving to get to the top it's it's that simple and you see this thing called ambition hey <laughs> it is very high when it comes to office space so most times people that relate with you in your office they are not relating with you because they care about you they are relating with you because you are just in the same space with them and when you get to leave that space you find that that they may not communicate with you they some may try to communicate with you within a week after you are out of there some a month and some if they try a year after which everybody goes their way they may not even remember themselves anymore over time however there are some that are actually true friends that will stick all through years coming and those are the ones you can say but the truth is how do you get to really know who is truly a friend i think when you relate with people in the office you get to really know who has your back and who doesn't have your back some of the good money they are saying the truth is the good money is not good money actually they feel like giving you a slap especially when you are dealing with uh, some offices uh, some very sensitive offices take for example you are hro in your office and um, you know something a lot of people hate hros not because they are bad people okay i'm talking based on experience now you know when you're in hr of an office and you it's difficult to make friends that's the truth as much as you try to be friendly but people try to avoid you because number one the good letters come from you and the bad ones also come and you know sometimes the more of the bad ones come through you than even the good ones and it's not really that it's your fault imagine management taking a decision and saying oh we want to fire this person and the next thing who carries out the the the, the job the HR and then you make more enemies than even friends 
or you're just coming into an office and you're talented you're brilliant and here you're just flying 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 in the office everybody's shouting congratulations oh for this promotion oh for this one and you are so excited you feel everybody's happy with you they like everybody's happy with you some may be truly happy with you but some of them they are just they are jealous envy comes in and they're just looking for a way to pull you down that's the truth so are your work friends truly your friends is a question i'm asking you right now those people you work with in the office that you get to share experiences good moments bad moments with do they have your back? If they have an opportunity to sweep you under the carpet for them to gain a position, would they do it? Or would they stand up for you behind your back? Remember, you're not going to be there. So will they stand for you or will they sweep you under the carpet? I will not even feel remorse about what they did. After all, they will say, oh, we're all here for something. We came to get the job done. How would they react to that? Is a big question you should be asking yourself. So if you are out there and you are feeling all enthusiastic about your work colleague every monday you're excited to go to the office you want to just have a chit chat with them and you're saying oh i have a sister oh i have a brother in you oh it was nice meeting you the question is as good as your heart is is their heart that good also towards you so it's a yes and no thing so i just feel it calls for caution yeah it calls for caution like okay i'm in the office i'm working with people and i really don't know their true intent towards me although i have true intentions good intentions for them but i don't know what their intentions are towards me so i just have to be careful on how to deal with them i need to know what to say and what not to say i need to know what they know and what do they, they don't need to know about me it's just precaution and i think it's actually really needed because i know that as colleagues I've had colleagues in my office where till tomorrow we still talk after like 10 years five years we still talk but now the talk is not based on oh every time relating once in a blue moon oh how are you it's been a while how is everything how is the family fine and that's it but some of these people I'm talking about some some time back when we we're working together we were like cat and dogs like you know it's back to back you know when they say woto woto back to back like that so it happens but then i think the bone of contention here is those people you call your friends those people that you share your your heart talk with those people you share your secret with those people you get to discuss the company with you talk about your boss to them you talk about everything are they truly your friends? Are they people that have your back? Are they people that will stand up for you in times of, you know, when they struggle in the office? Or are they people that will easily save their head and put you there and display you there? So I think it's good we know these things because it will help us to relate better with the people. Because if they are true people, then they deserve even much more from you. And if they are fake, if it's just there for company's sake, then I think we have to also be careful how we relate with them. Mm. So please, I want to hear from you. I know you have work friends, right? I know them. The ones you put on your status. Oh, I found a sister, I found a brother in you. I know you have them. So the question I'm asking you right now is, are they truly your friends? Do they have your back? 247, are they there for you? I want to hear, can work friends really be true friends? Or it just ends as work friends. I would like to get your comment. Please do not forget to drop your comments why you like and share this video. And if you're there, you've not subscribed. What are you waiting for? Ah ah, what is it? Eh, eh. Subscription is not hard now. Please touch that subscription button, like button, and share the video. Until I come your way again. I love you. Bye-bye.